investigate STP loop prevention. You will observe a spanning tree port states and watch the spanning tree convergence process. Observe a converged spanning tree instance. Verify connectivity. Ping from PC1 to PC2. Okay, from PC1, ping PC2. PC1, command prompt. Ping 182.160a1. One of one. The destination is PC2. One of one. Enter. Success. View spanning three status on each switch. Show spanning three VLAN one. Okay. Um, first S1. Go to S1. Okay, enter, enable, show spanning dash three VLAN one. Enter. Okay. Use this command to gather information about the spanning tree status of each switch. Complete the table. Okay, gigabit zero one. Okay, uh, for VLAN for VLAN one. Okay, VLAN one, VLAN one. Only show the spanning tree for VLAN one. Okay, VLAN one. Um, gigabit zero one and zero two. Gigabit zero one and zero two. And the connection for the switches. Uh, Gigabit zero one and zero two. Okay, gigabit zero one. Okay, gigabit zero one. A status forwarding. Root bridge no, because it's designated port. Gigabit zero two. A status forwarding. Root bridge, yes, is root. Okay. Okay, that means that using gigabit zero two on S one, you will reach the root bridge. This is the path to reach the root bridge. Okay. Uh, Okay, S2. Enter, enable, show, spanning, three, VLAN one. Okay, S2, gigabit zero one, gigabit zero one on S2. Okay, this interface, gigabit zero one on S2. A status forwarding root bridge no because it's designated port gigabit zero two okay this this another port gigabit zero two and this status forwarding root bridge now is designated port okay very good and look at this uh, all these ports are designated gigabit zero two and gigabit zero one are designated ports so that means s2 is the root okay this bridge is the root okay very nice and s3 enter enable show spanning three vlan one
gigabit 01 gigabit 01 okay the status forwarding root bridge yes root 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 port okay gigabit 01 gigabit 01 so that means you you will use gigabit 01 on s3 to reach the root bridge okay and gigabit 02 gigabit 02 okay this another port A status okay blocking mode blocking mode okay so that's why is orange is is uh, in blocking mode okay uh, root bridge now alternating port alternating port okay so that's why it's orange very very good uh, what do you think this link light means It indicates that the port is not forwarding frames because it is in a spanning tree state. In this case, the blocking state. Okay, is blocking blocking mode blocking state. So that that's why it's orange. What path will frames take from PC one to PC two? Okay, if gigabit 02 on S3 is blocked, PC1 will go through S1, through S2, and reach PC2, this path, okay? S1, S2, PC2. Why do the frames not travel through S3? Okay, because no frames are sent or received on gigabit 02 on S3. Okay, this is a blocking port on S3. Why has spanning tree placed a port in blocking state? If all ports could forward frames, a switching loop would exist in the network. Switching loops can degrade network performance and even cause a network to fail. Okay. Observe spanning tree convergence. Remove the connection between S1 and S2. Open a command line interface window on S3. Okay, go to S3, command line interface. Show spanning tree VLAN 1. Okay, show spanning tree VLAN 1, enter. Okay, leave the command line interface window open. Okay, leave this open. Select the delete tool from the menu bar and click the cable that connects S1 and S2. Okay, and place this here. And okay, this is the tool, the delete tool, but before to select this tool, look at this. Quickly return to command line prompt on switch S3 and issue the show spanning tree VLAN 1 command. Use the up arrow key to recall the show spanning tree VLAN 1 command and issue it repeatedly until the orange link light on the cable turns green. And observe the status. Okay. And okay. This is the S, S3 command line interface. And now uh, select the delete tool. Okay, uh, now. And remove this, uh, remove this link between S1 and S2, remove this link. Okay, and go to this uh, command line interface, repeat. Show a spanning tree VLAN 1. Show a spanning tree VLAN 1. Enter. 
show as many three belong one enter repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter and now is gigabit zero two is listening okay gigabit zero two listening repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter now is learning gigabit zero two learning gigabit zero two learning repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter repeat enter now is forwarding so that's why forwarding is uh, the green indicator and a stop okay what do you see happen to the status of the gigabit zero two port during this process okay first it uh, was in blocking and then became listening then uh, learning and finally forwarding you have observed the transition in port status that occurs as a spanning tree port moves from blocking to forwarding state verify connectivity ping from pc1 to pc2 okay access pc1 command prompt and repeat the ping ping to pc2 one of one one of one enter success are any ports showing an orange link light that indicates that the port is in a spanning tree state other than the forwarding why or why not okay no orange lights okay uh, all green indicators uh, no orange link lights are shown because they are no longer redundant paths in the network no redundant paths all green okay thank you very much